Ms. Cowder, the next question goes to you. As a representative, in the past, since 2003, the question of the people has been becoming an uprising of why you have not answered any petitions that people have been signed you. Mr. Cotter, you have two minutes to explain. <laughs> Mr. Eric Shelley, you have two minutes to rebuttal. <laughs> well, there's, there's, there's really not too much to rebut there now, is there? Uh, that, that's really about the attitude I expected as much from you. Uh, as, as long as I've been trying to, to uh, reach you, uh, that's, I, again, perhaps the most you've said in the last year. Uh, and indeed, I, I've been trying to speak with Mr. McCotter for nearly a year now. Uh, when he refused to uh, answer, uh, allow me to set an appointment just to meet with him as a constituent to a congressman, uh, the very least you can ask of your congressman, uh, I went about uh, gathering petitions and gathered over 300 signatures. And apparently this is, is not enough to uh, meet with your congressman, which I think is really a travesty of democracy. Uh, the, one of the, the first... Uh, uh, articles of the U.S. Constitution is the right to petition government for redress of grievances. Now, if I can't set an appointment with your scheduler, uh, what job does your scheduler have? I, I, I'm really disappointed in your performance, and uh, I think it's time for a change. I certainly hope the uh, citizens will only agree.